So basically what we're talking about is a uh, World War II spy training school uh, in Canada and um, the training of secret agents to go in behind enemy lines and do the kind of things that are being done right now in uh, in the in Ukraine. Um, it's very it's very similar. And as a matter of fact, uh, the uh, the camp trained agents to go into the Balkans. So uh, they you know they would have been very familiar with all of the countries that uh, we're talking about today. So uh, they trained over 500 secret agents at Camp X. Uh, dispatching them uh, on a regular basis uh, for the uh, thousand-day life of, uh, of Camp X. In 1940, Churchill, of course, was fighting the, uh, the war against the uh, Axis powers, and uh, with the little, very little help other than Commonwealth countries such as Canada, but not the great wealth and might of the United States. And so as Hitler went along and through Europe and picked off one country after the other, he obviously had his sights on Great Britain next and then beyond that. He has uh, something called Operation Fish. I don't know whether, uh, you know, some people don't know about this. Many Canadians don't know about this. Uh, but uh, during that same summer of 1940, um, Churchill had to set sail with a number of ships that are mentioned here on this page with $8 billion in gold bullion, Britain's gold reserves, probably the equivalent of a uh, trillion dollars today. And it sailed during the northern, or along the northern route of uh, the Atlantic, um, staying well away from uh, the uh, German U-boats of the uh, Wolf Pack. Uh, General Constantine uh, was a very important man during the Second World War, uh, one, of the, one of the key players on, on a world level. And uh, that's because uh, he was responsible for two things. Number one, Britain's gold reserves, and two, Camp X. He was the liaison between the British and the Canadian uh, military, Canadian Army, and all of those who were, were at Camp X as uh, instructors or uh, commandant, et cetera, et cetera. M stands for magic. And that's because when you talk about James Bond and, 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 and all the things that Ian Fleming learned uh, of operations of special agents and, and secrecy and, and all that type of thing. Uh, and of course he had, uh, he had the lab where Q would take him through the lab and show him all these toys and gadgets that they were making uh, for agents uh, to use behind enemy lines. Well, that really existed. And uh, in the basement of Casa Loma, I was able to show the owners that uh, all the things that they did down there, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Roper Callback in the center with his kilt on, and his senior officers arrived on the shores of uh, Lake Ontario uh, to open up uh, Camp X. Uh, each one of these fellows that you see on, in this photograph are experts in a field. They're British uh, agents, they're British instructors. Uh, but they're all experts. They're experts in uh, unarmed co combat, silent killing, uh, small weapons, um, map reading. Um, Morse code. Morse code. The, uh, the hydro operations. This was the uh, uh, most powerful uh, radio station uh, in the world at the time. The, the, there's a, a man in this photograph uh, in the upper right-hand corner, and it's not me, <laughs> but it's a guy named Pat Bailey, and uh, Benjamin DeForest Pat Bailey. He was the, in my mind, the most brilliant Canadian uh, ever born. Uh, Joe Galeni on the left, codenamed Gordon. Andy Durovitz on the right, codenamed Daniels. Uh, two Canadian Hungarians, both trained at Camp X. Uh, both uh, sent overseas uh, into missions, uh, missions into Hungary. Uh, they were both captured by the Gestapo, uh, brutally tortured at a, a special uh, prison for SOE agents, and uh, managed to escape uh, on the same day and make it back to England, and then subsequently make it back to uh, Canada. And fortunately for me, they lived uh, just uh, a few miles away from where I live today. So um, I met them back in the 70s, and of course, I was able to tell their entire 
stories in books. My latest book is uh, is that complete story plus uh, plus many more things. Uh, I didn't even touch on the topic of uh, South America, but um, the whole South America operations of Sir, uh, Sir William Stevenson. Um, I've covered everything in that book. <laughs>